Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome back to Perception. Now, we went through some fucked up shit right before this and now we're on to, oh, Delphi, thank you. This will be some more shit. Delphi, text to speech. July 1692. Son of a Thomas Durham, you are hereby permitted forthwith to apprehend and bring Susanna Morton in order to her examination relating to high suspicion of sundry acts of witchcraft. Sundry acts the of court witchcraft? Seeks justice for acts committed by her upon the bodies of Mary Talcott and Mercy Lewiston of Salem Village, whereby great hurt and oh, damage no. hath been done. Should you succeed, her lands and estate shall be bequeathed unto your family forthwith. Superior Court of Essex County. Essex County, this Salem. What of Durham? Is this the original house? Are we dealing with the actual Salem witch hunts? Are they just bringing in the Salem witch hunts as being the start of all this? Is the presence something that came out of the Salem witch hunts because because creepy reasons need creepy reasons? Oh, I'm in a church. I don't like. I don't want to be in this church. I don't want to be cast out. Wait, can the. Oh, shit. The, he can find me right now? No fucking way. I just started this. Oh, there is a goal, though. Okay, there's a. There's a goal, so it counts. I don't have a hidey hole, though. He's going to eat my giblets, and I don't have a hidey hole. Ah! Husband, how oh. has this food spoiled so soon? Son of a bitch. We only arrived yesterday. Gross. Everything here is just disgusting. The food spoiled as soon as they arrived. So I'm assuming if this we're talking about the original house, we are getting really close to ah! We shall not starve. We husband, the animals, they take an ill. She keeps saying husband. Not a patriarchal society at all. Husband, the animals. Oh, 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 I find I found a hidey hole. Come and get me, bitch. I ain't scared no more. I'm very scared. Please don't get me. Please, please, please don't make me a thing that you get. And someone said that they thought this looked like bubble wrap. I don't know what the fuck this shit is. This is a cocoon. I'm not okay with getting into, like... I, I feel like I... Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh, oh shit. Uh uh, uh uh, uh oh shit, 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 shit. Where even is it though? What am I inside? I'm inside of a cocoon. Oh shit, dude. Go away, go away, go away! Seriously, go away. Seriously, please go away. You've never stuck around this much. Please go away. Let me immediately make noise as soon as I get out of there. I done goofed. Open door. Okay, that is a door. Pick up what? Open door? Don't... Give me that bullshit. Uh-uh. No, no, no. I wanna open that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm.
Mm. My attempts at tending to this land have been poor at best. Tending to the land again. Disastrous at worst. Seeds cannot take root, and what is left of the crops have sickened and crumbled to dust. Nobody can get shit to- Dude, you're not the only one. It's not like you don't have a green thumb. No one can get shit to grow here. You're good. You're not alone. The sounds that come from these surrounding woods give me pause. Is there a native threat? Or has something foul remained? A native threat. Ooh, I do believe he's speaking about Native Americans. Hidey hole! Which, of course, you know that if you're blind and, and need to get away from something, just jump into a trunk that can be locked and carried away. That's your safest bet. This homestead still feels godless. I wonder when that feeling of peace shall arrive. Has my savior been delayed in his travels? Alright, ladder. I mean stairs. But... Okay, there are the stairs. Whoa! This place is damned. And I fear it is of my doing. I fear it is of my... Okay. You got some explaining to do if you did something that can make this house do what the fuck has been doing. Are you the presence? What did... What do you have against the little girls, then? He seems to... He seems... It seems that it goes after the females. And the males... You know, suffer... Some, I mean... Ah, uh, cocoons. Oh, great. Yeah, I want to get one of those again. I have no idea what those fucking cocoons are. They should fit in with the period of the time. So, I don't think it's a sleeping bag. It's not bubble wrap. Someone said bubble wrap. It sounded right until I looked at it and I was like, yeah, this is not bubble wrap. Uh oh. Oh, that's... Oh, look at the little children's beds. This is like a mansion for a homestead. I'm, it's a mansion, but... I'm, you know, you know what I mean. Stop. Self. My once peaceful wife is now troubled with fits of unrest at night. She moans. Things I cannot understand. Wait, Faith? The Faith that's been talking to me, that talked about Savannah and the... the My husband claims she is a weaker vessel. Which is why her ears are attuned to the sound of the devil's forked tongue. I went to examine this foul creature myself. But she... She is not what Thomas says. Susanna is young. Vibrant. With warm eyes and... A patient smile. The children in town. They say she can cure their ills. I am not sure whom I believe. I wouldn't trust any of that right now. So Faith is the one that's kind of been narrating every time we go to that apple tree. And this is her time period, so we're getting towards the end. This is going to be cut short, because I want to have the last video be able to give a few thoughts on it. Oh! They have gone to the Lord. They have gone to the Just Lord. Keep them tucked in their bed for now. We can sprinkle the hearth's ashes over them until we find a way. No, not children. All the kids are dead. This goddamn place. Why are all the fucking kids dead again? Their kid. Delphi 
okay. Text to speech. Illegible. Illegible. Oh, God. Nick, what do you got to say about this? So, when are we writing a book on all the craziness? Okay, this looks like a list, but there's stuff crossed out. Circled with weird insignias doodled all over it. It says, Items I currently possess. Salt, rosemary, and my sachets. Round this house I found a moth in its cocoon and the old skull from grandfather's prized ox. Surely these could serve some purpose. Below that there's a bunch of questions. Too unstable? Do I call the quarters before or after I open the circle? And what of a talesman? Would a doll suffice? I'm guessing this person didn't exactly know what they were doing. At the very bottom of the page is some sort of poem. Oh god, oh, no. Man of God yet soulless be. <coughs> Wow. Hold on a sec. <coughs> Suddenly I feel like my throat's closing up. Don't read it. I gotta grab a drink. I'll catch you later. <laughs> ah! Shit! Fuck you! And those are cocoons. I fucking knew those co That's what she fucking did. She tried to bring back the kids. She, she didn't know what the fuck she was doing and she used the dolls. That's why there keeps being a doll that can't be thrown away. So what the fuck did she do then? Just pick up skeleton key. So... Right. Will this be enough? I need help. He is coming again on the morrow. On the morrow? And with other townsfolk. Cocoons. So trying to bring back the dead? And she got called a witch for it? And she brought the presents. And this is purely speculatory because I, I'm, there's, I'm not, I don't want to finish it necessarily tonight. I want to give myself a chance to process. What we can hold out another few days until the path to the seaside mounts. They did not have to eat those. They did not have to eat those. What? What are they eating? As the apple tree is anchored to this earth, so shall I root my soul. Protect this land against those who would do harm. The doll. Fucking found the doll. I hope there's not multiple endings, because I, I don't want to necessarily go through this again. What happened? What? Grab matches. You can do this. I can do what? I gotta burn it? What am I gonna do? Burn the house? It's too late. She's afraid of fire, though. How the hell is she gonna do this? She's afraid of fire. Ah! Son of a bitch! Burned it. Okay. I'd be scared of that fire too. Oh, it's the apple tree. going on, but that tree's got to go. The tree's got to go? How do, how do you know it's the tree? Nothing alive except for the tree. Oh. It can't have been the tree this whole fucking time. Um. Can't get, I can't get past. The, tr the tree, the tree blocked my way. I 
Wait a second. There's another way. Okay. Fuck you, owl. Fuck you, owl. Can I smack you with my stick? Is this chapter called the axe? Could probably bash that thing right off, like with an axe. I gotta go get a fucking axe, don't I? Why is it the tree then, though? What Salem witch hunts? They burned them, right? They didn't hang them. Oh God, they did hang them. What am I talking about? Burned and hanged. Husband, the animals, they've taken ill. John Proctor was hanged. What is this? Oh, God, fuck you. Take the mallet. Okay. Get that lock off now. Why is there a pig? Don't squeal, pig. I ain't making you squeal. The presence is casting me out. Where do I? Where do I go? Where do I go? Move boards. Move boards. Keeps repeating things that are said is an amalgamation of all the people who have tried to do things, but it, did it start with Thomas? No. Why is Faith the one that's been narrating? Savannah. Faith knew better. Thomas... Thomas killed Savannah to get her land? Did the kids die before or after? What did she... D Friendly eyes app? I'm a Nick, please don't die. Can you tell me what the hell I'm looking at here? Just walk straight ahead. Don't hesitate, just go. Excuse me? You deserve to be down there. You belong down there. Durham. Blood of 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 Durham. Are you kidding? What? What's blood of Durham? Why can't I get out? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, I can't get out. Oh shit tits. Are you kidding? I knew it as soon as Nick was coughing. He, he was, he was chanting the mantra. Fuck. Fuck, even. Hello? Hey, surprise you answered. I thought you'd be on a plane back to Phoenix. Got as cold as a witch's tit up here. Wait, you're here? Well, here as in Logan. I'm at the car rental. Traffic's hell because of the storm, so I'd wager an hour to Gloucester, maybe two. Storm? You already sound like a true native. I just didn't expect you to- well, Of course you didn't. 
Look, I mean what I say. I don't play games. I said I'd be there, and I will. Two hours tops. Fine. I think I need to follow the owl. How do you, how the fuck do you know you need to follow the owl? And what's the blood of dirt? You're blind. How are you gonna follow the owl? Okay, so where'd the owl go? Alright, so there's a path over here. Okay, there he is. That doesn't make sense, so... Savannah's drowned. Thomas wants to land. Faith talk to Savannah. They try to bring the kids back. The, all the kids are dead. Every single time the kids die. She chants a mantra to a godless place at a tree. Blight this land, I wish it. Wait, Thomas Durham? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. The land's cursed because of Thomas. Oh! Savannah cursed the land. Are you not afraid of my Susanna, not Savannah, Susanna. If I truly am the devil's bride, would I not blight this land of yours? Curse your new home. Poison your fruit! Poison your fruit. Pox on your bloodline! Poison your fruit. The apples. The apples will poison us. The only thing that grew was poison. She wasn't the devil's bride, though. And she tried to do something, and she didn't know what she did. It worked! Everyone got fucked. Where's the axe? Where? Where'd you say the axe was? The axe is right there. Chop the tree down. Chop the fucker down. Time to get chopping. But it's not the tree. They hanged her at the tree. Oh god, I was trying to cut the wrong thing. Cut her down. Cut her down. They're hanging her. to trust you because we are blood. 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 my blood wait i don't understand they're all durhams they're all descendants that came back to the house fuck got it thomas during the salem witch trials was told that that girl could possibly be a witch for what she was doing for helping other people. That she could possibly cure anything. He was giving a, a free license to kill her. 
and if do, in doing so killed her, could take over the lands that she had. Susanna realized what was happening and that it was a woman who owned land without being a hu having a husband or having a man or whatever, and they just wanted her land and an excuse to take it away from her. She said she would curse them if they were going to call her a witch and looked for something. Faith, Thomas's wife, snuck off to talk with Susanna and realized Susanna was nothing like they planned or l nothing like Thomas was making her out to be. It was just a normal girl. Susanna, I think, got help from Faith. Gathering ingredients making signs so that she could make a last threat right before she was hanged at the tree of being able to get retribution. Faith put together all the ingredients needed for Susanna to curse the bloodline. They had no idea what the fuck they were doing. It didn't just curse Thomas and the land and it, it, it did everything that she thought it would do, but it did more. And it created the presence that was at the house, killing any Durham that came near it and all the descendants, which is why all the children died. I'm guessing Faith lived. I'm guessing Thomas dies here because Faith would be the reason that the descendants could keep going. She had to have had another child or something. But she hate. Why does she hate... Why is it a thing that maybe it's just a, a quirk of her? She's blind and she hates fire because she can't see fire. She can only feel the heat. That would be something that would be very creepy to never see the danger, only feel the effect. Draw it toward the fire. Draw it toward the fire. Burn the presence. Okay, I'll burn it. I was going to make this shorter. I kind of wanted to burn. I, I kind of wanted to die really badly now. The ghosts are helping. I rigged a trap for that beast. Follow my voice. I'm afraid. I. Horus. Is she being tricked into being into killing herself? Is this what happened to the rest of? No, but the ghosts are supposed to be helping her, not be the Durham to die. Why is she going to the turret? Is she says it's the one place? It's at. Oh God. It's the fire that Felicia made. It's there, there. Dr. Briar, fuck. What is this? She cannot be the baby. She cannot be Felicia's child. Wait a moment. What's that? It, something. Something burning? Felicia! What? No. Are you shitting me? She's the kid! What? How did she live? Sandra, go down the path to the market. The place that has the candy, remember? Run, sweetheart. <coughs> I love you. Oh my god. Sandra, as in Cassandra? Oh my god. Daddy! Daddy. 
Sandra as in Cassandra as in Cat. That's her dad. Felicia's her mom. The house possessed her to kill the rest of the family off. Her dad lowered her in a basket to save her life and died in the fire. I know you are frightened, my child, but you can trust us. Felicia. Mom. Jump. Jump. I, I can't. Trust me. Jump. Okay. My dear Cassandra, although your world is darkness, you are never alone. What? Please say Surge came and got her. How does she know even how to fall properly from- Although the world is darkness, she is never alone. What the hell? Please let that be happy music. Because I really like that music, that- Yeah, see? Sounds like good music. Sounds happy. For me, you had to burn the house down. We needed to do it. Needed? Yep. Well, maybe this was a good thing after all. <laughs> <sighs> so, what the hell happened here? And are you okay? Long story. And I'm okay. Never been better, actually. <laughs> now be a doll and help me up. And help me up? Oh, at the house. Was inspired by Susanna Martin. That's why I said it could. Susanna was accused of witchcraft twi twi twice before being found guilty and hanged in 1692. I knew that when they said this was based on a real story, this was fucked up. We dedicate this game to anyone who has been misunderstood or misjudged. To anyone who has been underestimated. To anyone who has been told something, that, uh, told they can't do something. Although the world is full of suffering, it is also full of overcoming of it. Helen Keller. I know that quote. Yeah. That was a good game. Holy shit. Okay. They brought it full circle. All right. I I don't think I really have to do like a story breakdown. Everyone that's watching that's watched it my just the series front to back. This is a really simple one, guys. They they did a really good job pulling it all the way together. Um, from start to finish, starting off with Felicia in the present day of seeing quote unquote ghosts of just a few years ago to what felt very recent to, to seeing a few different generations coming through and then realizing that the generations were all linked. The house was cursed. The families that moved there were cursed, but the families were actually all linked by blood. It was blood relatives always coming back to live at the house somehow that were being tortured by the presence. And this game is based on the true story of Susanna, who was accused of witchcraft. Um, if you didn't pick it up, um, it's going back generation after generation where the house somehow torments those of the Durham bloodline to, to either kill themselves or do something that gets them killed. Um... The latest being the dreams that Cassie has, but Sandra, Cassandra, the name barely ever mentioned, and then 
it ends up being the main character. It's Cassie. Um, Felicia is a psychic and sees the memories of what's happening in the house. And so it preys on her and she tries to burn the house down herself to get rid of all of it. The ghosts, I guess, are talking to her, too, and she's trying to do exactly what Cassie did. But she did it in a crazed state that ki killed her husband and almost killed Cassie. Is her dad that saved her and put her down. But when she goes back to the house, she stumbles across three other generations of people who, including, God, they always went for the children, which makes sense now because this is the Durham bloodline. The children have to die. Um... And it's all after a botched, or not so botched, where Faith, Thomas's wife, helps um, an accused practitioner of witchcraft actually make some witchcraft happen um, and creates the presence which hunts down those of the Durham bloodline that come back to the house. And the only thing that can survive is exactly the threat she made that seemed kind of empty at the last second, that if she's the devil's wife, pretty much, couldn't she do all these things? But the curse that she almost recited and that Nick started reciting off of that paper on accident that kind of pseudo-possessed him. You belong down there. Why is in the water did he say, just go, go forward, you belong down there? Oh, dead, you belong dead. As in, go into the water and drown, you belong dead. You belong down there. They tortured her in the water. Oh. No, they didn't torture her. That was the old testing of a witch. Like if a witch, the a witch's weight as compared to other things and this, that, and the other, and water floating and all that shit. He was telling her he belonged down there. She was a witch. Okay. And her empty threat of the house, yes. The, the It's not a condition, though. The, the girls were at the psychiatric ward for some reason, the asylum for being sick or something. But... It's the actual tree. The actual only thing that will grow there is poison. The apples are poison. How did... How did Henrik know the apples were poison? Anyway, it seems like every generation tried to not be influenced by the house and did something. Felicia, being a psychic, was the only one that got close to actually getting rid of the house and the presence. Listening, when she said, I did what you asked, remember she started talking to the walls, and now you're silent to me? I did what you asked, and now you're silent? She burned... I think she was trying to get rid of the presence and she ended up instead burning. She was listening to the ghost and instead the presence convinced her to burn her own husband and child trying to get rid of everything else. And then the voices went silent because she did the wrong thing and she hanged herself. <sighs> well, that was a good horror game. Okay. You know, blabbing about that's a really good horror game so this was different it was definitely a different style they went a different direction if you didn't know this is the team uh, uh, some of the some of the fringe uh, members of the team I believe that were behind Bioshock so this is why you're hearing a lot of dialogue that's done through the phonographs or the recorders or the this that and the other um, that's why there's a gameplay there's an element that's kind of told through the eyes and perspectives of people that have come before um, the, uh, the, that's what I understand from the development team that made this and they know how to put a story together D have you seen Bioshock so um, so kudos to them for doing this uh, good game I wasn't sure whether I could say <laughs> thanks for playing oh fuck you doll really at the very end you're just gonna say that cool so 
I wasn't sure if I could say I recommend this uh, because of the price that's on it. I think it's 30 bucks, and I know that I got it finished now. This is part six, and most of them stayed around thir the 30 minute mark. Uh, this is 40, last one was 45. Um, is good enough for the story, I think. You that is worth the price. So, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you know of a different ending. If there's a bad ending, I must not have gotten it because that seemed like a really good ending. Um, and just let me know what you thought. I, I almost didn't play this because of so many polarizing reviews about it, but I guess the polarizing reviews come from people who either um, really got and enjoyed this, the story that they tried to craft here and how they tried to pull it together, which they did. They put it in a nice, tight, needy, needy, uh, uh, God, my words. A tidy, neat knot that circled back around. Uh, I guess some people, the visual style or the way that the story is told, people don't like... Bi There's, there are people out there that don't like Bioshock. If you didn't like Bioshock and the way that the story and the background is told for that, there's no way you like this. So, um, But, it, you know, it's good. So, Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stick around for other things that come up later on in the channel. We'll get to more horror as soon as more horror, horror doth be given in good copious amounts by people who know what they're doing. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here for the next one really, really soon. Bye!